Alright everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Oh, very theme music. Last time we're here, we uh, got our last task from Lord Harrowmont. Uh, basically he's telling us that we can go into the deep roads on an expedition and try and find the Paragon Bronca. He believes that if we do so, that this will solidify his position to become king. Additionally, we went over some codex, we finished up some side missions, and then we gained Ogren here that's standing beside the main my main character. Because if you remember quite a few videos back, we talked to him in the bar. He wanted nothing to do with us do with us unless we went into the deep roads and then now that we're actually going into the deep roads he wants to join us because turns out that Bronca is or was or still is his wife if she's alive um but yeah so that's Ogren Ogren that's why he's here and then we went first to the uh, Duke and Tag that is that was closer to Orzammar Seems like the closest tag to Orzammar, and now we're at Caridon's Cross, which was a big back in the day component to connect a lot of the tags together. Well, look what we have here a couple of Haramont little lackeys. Let's show them who's king. It's me, I'm the king. <laughs> Oh shit, come on, man. Stone. Stone, stone. Obviously, we gotta look out for this people that enough. are posing for Terramont. But uh, yeah, we're in Caridon's Cross, so we'll see. They tell you what to wear in the chantry. Where it leads us. You have robes and such that you must wear. And uh, so, robes. <laughs> what else? Well. Sometimes there are vestments and ceremonial garments. Right, right. And, uh, and then... Why storm? are you so interested in this? Ah, uh, sod it. Under the robes. Pants. No pants. What? Stop stalling. Naked or not. What difference does it make? All right. Stonewall me. I'll find out one way or the other. Uh, right. Good luck with that. Oh, green, you uh, filthy animal. Deep stalker. It's leading us into a trap, no doubt. Why would you be running away? Only for more of your deep stalker buddies to show up. No doubt. Okay. Figured. Figured as much. What took you guys so long? These deep stalkers taken care of. A herd, if you will. 
the conglomerate. Okay. <clears throat> Did I read this? The ritual is very specific as such. This probably should be torso, head, and limbs spread amongst deep roads to prevent the creature from returning. Looks like they died during the cutting, but we can fulfill the last part in their stead. I'm not familiar with elven ritual. Why would I be? But it seems pretty straightforward. Never even saw the thing. Get a sword. We could get the sword at the end. Yeah, page, intermediate origin. The body rendered to its separate parts, spread wide, such that no life is witnessed. The heart be protected in this way. The beast can remain for an age as the life passes and pursues live out their lives. I was not wrong, not elven. Hunters didn't kill it. It allowed this. Keep the pieces apart, I guess, away from the heart. Well, I got head and I got limbs, so now I need torso, I guess, which would have the heart, which would supposedly be bad. Probably going to spawn something that we have to fight. Can we use that or stick to weak? Stick to weak, oh, but I can use this one. That one's ages. Keep exploring the Keridan's Cross. Shit. The beast. Let's make this quick. <laughs> Oh, fuck. 
Oh, you don't got heal. Of course you don't. Well, goodbye, main character. Yep. That was gonna happen. Uh, shit, Aldrin to take a photos. And I take a lesser one. Okay, we don't step in it then. We got here. Maybe blow. What's this one? Uh -huh. oh, it's a bomb, so I don't know if I'm Sneeze. Gift. We're running out of inventory space here, so. Took that out of your tactics, didn't I? I did. So maybe I just got to take these away, but then it'll add that, so I'll just keep them there for now. Here's this compare. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, he's good. Now I got two injuries. Oh, dude. I can't use it again. Anyone else got injuries? You do. Clear that up. <laughs> yeah, let's take that off. Yeah, let's take that off. Take that that done. Keep that. Let's take that one instead. Okay. Ready to embark on journey again. Don't go that way at the top. We have to do some backtracking. Right. This should be easy enough. As you wish. Right. This should be easy enough. You are very beautiful, Morrigan. Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in... This looks like the right way out. Poor Tarn Tig. It won't be long now. Alright, 
right, so we found the passage to Orton Tag. But I don't know if I want to go there just yet. We still got quite a bit of exploring to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to explore Kerrigan's Cross first. Oh shit, oh what the fuck are these? What the hell? Rick, did we just get attacked by... Yeah. Moose looking things, that's for sure. Oh, it's an ogre. Yep. Lovely. Ogre Alpha. Look at their giblets. Resisted. Oh, you should not be this close, so I don't think. Lost this guy. Gonna heal over. You guys can stay attacking. Armed and dangerous, ready for action. Yeah. Only one to stand. Oh shit. He's taking over. Yeah. Heal him. Then I don't know. Like the lightning. Look at this mess. I love it. Oh, he's dead. On it. Greater health, Potis. Potis. Son of a bitch, we get in our inventory too full. Hmm. All kinds of fun creatures in uh, the deep woods. JK, I don't know how to swim. Plus, this armor wouldn't help if I could know how to swim. Okay, let's blow it out, let's keep going. Can we get a codex on those shrieks? Must have. Bronco, Deep Stalker, Shrieks. Shriek! Scholars call these tall, lean darkspawn with Sherlock. Darkspawn the Sherlock. Though they're more popularly known as Shrieks because of their ear spitting cries they emit in battle. Many tales exist of soldiers being unnerved by the sounds of approaching shrieks, cloaked in darkness and never seen until the moment they strike. As horrors of the night, shrieks are renowned for their incredible speed and agility as well as their stealth. They are the assassins of the dark spawn, penetrating the enemy lines and striking their targets using long, jagged blades attached to their forearms to rip their opponents to shreds in seconds. They have been known to employ poison, often drawn from their own blood, and have demonstrated cunning group tactics when attacking in numbers. That's what that was, it was a shriek. So they are darkspawn. Interesting. Deep stalker. A fool trusts his eyes. A wise man fears every rock is a deep stalker. Fool of insane. <clears throat> Possibly the strangest of all the creatures found in the deep roads is the Deep Stalker. Tezpadam, as the dwarves call them, hunt in packs, gener generally by burrowing underground and when then striking when their prey is in their midst. 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 
Stalkers come in several several types. Spitters have venom glands and can spit secretions that slow or injure their prey. Jumpers hurl themselves at their targets, knocking them down and making the kill easier. The most common variety scares its prey, leaving the unfortunate victim helpless against the rest of the pack. And the Bronto. There's only two things a noble will step aside for, paragons and angry brontos. Another dwarven saying. This hulking beast was originally bred by the dwarven shaperit as a beast of burden and food source, the rough equivalent of two surface oxen and cows. Some versions of Bronto have even been developed as dwarven mounts, valued far more for their sure-footedness and stamina than their speed, than for their speed. While present within Orzammar in large numbers, some Brontos still exist in packs within the Deep Roads, having returned to a wild state after the fall of the Dwarven Kingdoms. <clears throat> they require remarkably little sustenance, consuming organic material from water, fungus, and even rocks, hence the rock liquor appellation used by many dwarves to describe Bronto, and exist in primarily dormant states until provoked. An angry, charging Bronto is considered to be rather dangerous opponent. There you go. Little bit of... Hmm. A little bit of codex reading for you there. Alright, everybody. I think we'll finish off with some codices. And, uh... Excuse me, we'll finish off with some codices and then I think we'll be ready to venture on to Orton, Orton Tag. So we just got the third bloody sack. Um, so this was updated, but what's new? Parts now. Partial head and limbs bagged and dispersed. Simple enough. This magic stuff doesn't seem too complicated because we got a quest from it. We have found the grizzly remains of some kind of fade beast, one that may have intentionally dismembered itself. Comparing the notes suggests the carving was done in the deep roads near Keridan's Cross. I might have to look into that one a little bit more. And then we also picked up sword. And we picked up something that was called Topsider's Honor. Anyways, the fool has been following us for three days, but what can I do? I'm sure a city guard could lock him up for being a sodding idiot, but there's no law that says you can't seek your death in the trenches. There's no law down here at all. I said to his face that if he puts our patrol at risk, I'd split him myself, but he's quiet. I'll give him that. Topsiders usually assume the end of a blight erases the dark spawn from the world. Why does this one care that his victory just drives them back on our doorstep? It's one thing to face them up in the light. He'll cut his own shaft out of them here once he fights them in the dark where they live. That, or delirium, will get him. From the Legion of the Dead field report by Lieutenant Gant. That's something. And then we also got Orzmar Chapter One. So we have a different Orzmar Chapter. I could have swore we had Orzmar Chapter Two, but maybe I died and didn't get it back 
really weird. Thought for sure we had original chapter two. Anyways, here's chapter one. The memories tell us that our kingdom once reached far beneath the mountains, and that the tags were almost beyond counting. Kal Sharad was the capital then, home to all the noble houses, and Orzmar was simply the home of the miner and smith castes. It was with the it was with the Tevinter Imperium that things changed. Paragon Garal moved the seat of power to Orzammar to more closely oversee the trade that began with the surface. It seemed that our people were entering a new age of prosperity. The memories hold no explanations for the coming of the Darkspawn, only questions. At first, they were rumors, noises in the deep roads, a lost traveler here and there. The warrior caste sent men to patrol the road and thought the matter settled. We did not know that while we searched for them, they were engaged in a search of their own. Sleeping deep in the stone itself was the archdemon. They found him and awakened him, and the blight began. The darkspawn poured out of the deep roads like smoke then, and the warrior caste struggled to hold them back. Countless tags were lost in the first blight, but... As ever, in the worst moments of our need, a paragon arose. Paragon Adukin led the defenses of Orzammar, and the Dark Horde was beaten back. The cost of victory, however, was great. <clears throat> Much of the deep roads were sealed to hold back the Darkspawn, cutting off tigs and even whole cities forever. Orzammar as a kingdom, as kingdom, as told by Shaper, Zizbor. Here we caught up on some codexes, codices. Ready to go to Ortum Tag. We have Keridin's Cross all explored out. We have a little deep stalker nest here. Big dark spawn battle here. Dark spawn sprinkle tool out there. Dark spawn at this crossing. So yeah, lots of dark spawn, lots of deep stalker. Go to Orton Tag. By the tits of my ancestors, Orton Tag. I never thought I'd see this place in the flesh. I can see Bronca all over this place. She always took chips from the walls at regular intervals when she was in a new tunnel. Checked their composition. If she was still here, though, she'd have sentries out by now. What if Bronca and everyone died? Well, aren't you a sodding bright spot today? <laughs> if everyone's dead, there'd be evidence of a major battle, wouldn't there? Three hundred or so dwarves don't just fade away. What can you tell me about this room? This was Keridin's home tag. He was an Orton before he got raised to Paragon. Even stayed here when he could have had his own house. I guess he didn't want to move his people to Bunamar. Bunamar. The city of the dead. Keridin built it to honor the Legion of the Dead. But it was more like a sodding mausoleum than anything. Of course, that was all before he built the anvil. After that, he was the city's pet genius until he angered the king and fell into disfavor. So there was a city here? No. No, there was a Tig here. The Orton Tig. Bunamar is north and west of here. But that's not important. Or at least I hope it isn't. The City of the Dead is known as the Dead Trenches since the Darkspawn conquered it. Much of the Legion was destroyed when the fortress fell. You have no idea where this end is? No one is. does. At the time, Orton Tig was almost part of the main city. No one bothered to mark where the anvil was stored. Now it's impossible to know if it's been moved or even destroyed. But trust me, if we find it, we find Bronca. Then let's get going. Couldn't have said it better myself. That is... Okay, that was weird. But anyways... That'll do it for today, guys. We're ready to explore the Orton tag.
next time so I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in if you want to help out the channel you can like subscribe comment do any and all of those things and until the next video see ya